my channel. So today I am bringing you my first ever one brand makeup tutorial, which is crazy that like the four, three plus years that I've been on YouTube, I've never done a one brand. So in honor of it being my first ever one brand, this idea was actually brought to you by your local Walmart. I'm just kidding. This is not sponsored. Um, this was actually a collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Hannah. I'm going to have her channel linked down below. It is really, really amazing. She posts a lot of lifestyle, beauty, makeup videos. Just like, you know, the good package all in one is her channel. So she's great. We thought that these videos did so well on her channel, but we're like, hey, let's, you know, collab on it. Also, it's a great way to bring it onto my channel. So if you guys like these one brand tutorials, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. And yeah, so this is all using MAC makeup. If you guys are coming in from Hannah's channel, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Tori. I really hope I'm going to steal Danielle Marie's line. I really hope you stick around. Um, if you guys do, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Um, if you guys want like bloopers, behind the scenes, you know, what happened during this video, be sure to check my um, website because I have like behind the scenes this video and it's actually really entertaining. Like they're one of my favorite blog posts to write. So go check that out, but I'm going to stop rambling and let's get on to the video. Hi, hi. So let's ignore the fact that I have mascara on and get on with the tutorial. So I'm spritzing my brush with some Fix Plus and applying MAC face and body all over my face. This brush is, oh gosh, it's Coastal Scents, but I love it. It literally blends out the foundation for me. But I thought it was kind of just sitting on my face, so I went in with a sibling brush to blend it out and not make it so shiny. So once that's done, I moved on to priming my eyelids. And, you know, I have, like, paint pots and stuff, but I just have been on this rampage of using concealer and just setting it with powder. Is rampage the white, right word? Not white, right word. I don't really think so. Anyway, moving on to um, like a base. This is Rich Ground Fluid Line by MAC. And I'm putting it all over my lid and into my crease a little bit. And then blending it out with a synthetic blending brush. This can be super, super messy, you guys. It really doesn't matter. In fact, I'm even smudging it all along my lower lash line and blending that out to make it that much more messy. This is like a cleaned up grunge fall look. So like kind of think fall, kind of think grunge, but kind of think like full beat. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to go in with this shade Mulch by MAC. This is such a beautiful shade. I don't know why I ever stopped using this, but I'm applying this all over the lid and then I'm going to go in with Wedge by MAC, which is a matte shade. And I'm doing my transition shade third, which is so weird, but I'm doing it and blending it out. As you can see, it's kind of hard in the beginning to work with, but you just keep blending it and it gets flawlessly blended out. Satin Taupe, another goodie. I love, love, love the shade, and I'm really just focusing this on the outer third of the eye. Lid, corner, crease, super messy, just really focusing that there, and deepening it up with a black. This isn't carbon. I think this is Smut by MAC, um, but you can use carbon, you can use a gray, just any darker shade, and really just focus that on like the outer corner of your crease and um, lid. Lower lash line is layering mulch and then satin taupe on the outer third. So again, just super messy. Just kind of do what we did on the lid on the lower lash line. And this is a gray coal liner. I'm drawing a blank on the name. I want to say slate, but I don't think that's the name. Anyway, just a gray or black, whatever you guys want. I'm just lining this in my waterline. I wanted to add a pop of pink. I don't know why, but this is mythology and I really like it. It's kind of like a fun little pop to the look. It's pretty. This is Studio Finish Concealer. I recently have fallen back in love with this. This is in the shade N. W20 and I'm using this to sharpen up the shadows and make them more precise again and kind of clean the look up because it's very messy and also without my eyebrows on it looks super weird and I also put this on the inner corner to help blend out that because it really did get in a little bit too far farther than I wanted it to go in anyway and setting it with a powder this is fix no sorry this is mineralized skin finish in light natural and then, of course, you know, just highlighting nose, Cupid's bow, chin, in between the eyebrows slash on the forehead, you know, the drill. And, of course, setting that with my Real Techniques setting brush. 
Are all the brushes supposed to be MAC too? Because that's hard if it is. Okay, maybe one brand tutorials aren't as easy as I thought. Anyway, moving right along, I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows backwards. I'm carving out my eyebrows first and then setting it with Blanc type, which is a white eyeshadow. It's kind of like white and cream. And I like how it turned out. Um, now, I didn't like my eyebrows particularly because the coloring was a little bit too light, but I'm underlining them and defining the arch of them with a pencil. This is in the shade Lingering. I got this when I had blonde hair. And it's way too light for my dark hair, so I went in with Espresso, which is a shadow. But I don't like filling my brows in with shadow. But for the purpose of the tutorial, it's all that I had, so, you know, I went with it. And then I just put Floof on the inner corner, and this really was the thing that changed the look for me. This is what made it what I love about this, which is like super dark, vampy, messy on the lids and on the lower lash line, and then a super bright inner corner. This is also the day that the Snapchat update came out, so please excuse me. I'm um, applying quick coats of mascara, but that doesn't matter because I'm going in with falsies. Back to the Snapchat update. It is so addicting. What's your favorite one? Let me know in the comments down below. Mine's probably the crying one. I think that one is so cute. Here I'm just going in and applying Ardell Wispies, my fave, you know, moving right along to the face. We are transitioning the face. This is Baby Don't Go Blush by MAC. I am slathering this everywhere on my face. This is our transition shade for our contour. Oh my gosh, I would be lost without this shade. I don't know what I would do. I, oh my God, look at that warmth it gives you. Oh, just that glow. And then everyone hated my contour in my last video, so I wanted to please you guys this time. So I'm going in with Wedge, which is more of like an ashier color, and contouring. It's an eyeshadow just because I don't really have a contouring shade from MAC, so I'm just going in with an eyeshadow. You know, got to improvise. I realized that I didn't want blush, and I'm just going to highlight. And this is Porcelain Pink by MAC. Discontinued, but it is still available on Ebay's, Amazon, and CCO. So it's very easy to get your hands on. And, you know, just applying that everywhere. And this is when I started feeling myself because I loved this after the highlight went on. Ooh. Onto the lips. Lining them with Boldly Bare by MAC. Of course, it's by MAC. You guys can, you know, not be extra and just fill your lips in with this. And that'd totally be beautiful. But I just kind of wanted to use the shade that I haven't used in a while. It's called Velvet Teddy. Very, very pretty. It's a matte shade. Kind of matches Boldly Bare perfectly. So you really don't need to do this. But you know me. And cleaning it up with a little bit of concealer. And then you are all done. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Comment down below your favorite favorite Snapchat update filter thingy and be sure to check out the website for any bloopers. There's a ton and be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time. Love you all so much. Bye. Yeah.